What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is Sam. I'm back with another video for you guys. Uh, 2011, January 2011. Uh, this is uh, a client built build. Uh, the client came to me and uh, asked me if I could upgrade their system. And their system was a, a Dell Dimension. Uh, don't recall which model it was, but uh, the system specs were they had a Celeron processor, a 60 gig, 60 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, I think it was a uh, 256k memory and uh, that's basically you know it you know it was just a slow system you know and they 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 full they filled their hard drive up and they were asking me if I could put another hard drive and and uh, and I said I can but you know I mean it's still gonna be slow so they asked me you know what they could do I said well uh, I could build a system for you maybe four or five hundred dollars you know and they say well do it check it out and uh, let me know so uh, I uh, looked online looked on a uh, new way came up with some uh, parts and uh, emailed the parts and uh, they bought the parts and shipped them to me so uh, first off uh, the case is a cooler master uh, it's a micro tower case it's not a mid tower it's a micro tower it's a small form factor case it's a elite uh, 341 and uh, all, uh, all black outside uh, except the back and, and uh, yeah that's about it on the side panel uh, you have options for to put uh, two 120 millimeter fans or you could put 290 or 280 millimeter fans now uh, let's go uh, to the front the front of the case uh, as you see the front of the case you have a uh, there's a 120 millimeter uh, spacing right there where you could put a, a fan in the front, which I, I put a fan for them. Uh, it might be overkill, but it still gets some good airflow because it came with one fan and one 120 millimeter fan that was in the back. Now, uh, like uh, the available uh, slots, you have two uh, five and a quarter, five and and a quarter uh, drive base uh, exposed. Uh, you have two three and a half inch dra drive bays and two uh, hidden ones inside there. Now in the front you have your power button, your reset, your uh, hard drive activity light and your power light and also it has two USBs. Uh, there's a, a, a fire wire which you could have and an e-setter but they didn't come with them and then you have your headphones and your jack that's uh, all in the front now on the back back like I said uh, here's your IO shield plate your four slots because the micro A3 you know uh, board motherboard uh, your 120, 120 millimeter fan that came with it and you could also have a 90 or 80 you know if that one ever goes out if you don't replace it with it comes with thumb screws four thumb screws so let's take off the, the side panel now before I take off the side panel the motherboard uh, the motherboard inside it is uh, you can see right there oh, there we go it's M4 A7 8 5M the M is a micro uh, ATX motherboard from ASUS. You have uh, the core unlocker right there. It's a uh, AMD. The chipset is uh, 785G. You could put uh, uh, the Phenom X4s or the Phenom 2s in there. Okay, Windows 7 ready. DDR2 1200 plus. It's an onboard graphics temp, you know, DX 10.1 Express Gate. Uh, the GPU NOS which is a new concept for a GPU booster it's software that you use for that and a turbo key oh did I uh, mention an unlocker yeah core unlocker and that's basically the board more features you know on the back it's a AM2 plus uh, socket and it's uh, up to uh, 52 NTS's PCI Express 2.0 you know other info on that if you can see if you could read that if you pause it 
That's the motherboard. <coughs> power supply. It's a uh, uh, Zigmatech power supply. Right there. It's a 400 gigabyte. 400 gigabyte. It's a 400 watt uh, power supply. Built a force in your PC. It's a uh, 80 plus gold, 80 plus bronze. And uh, if this is some of the specs, if you want to pause it and look at it. <coughs> also, uh, in front, it's uh, your light on. It's just a basic 24 times DVD, internal DVD, CDR burner. Serial ATA and the hard drive. It's a uh, <coughs> Western Digital, Western Digital, 60, 640 gigabyte, uh, 64 megabytes. Serial ATA two. Yep, and that's what. Uh, that's all in there. Oh, and oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, the CPU. The CPU is an AMD Athlon 2X3 440 3.0 and uh, I over unlocked the core just by pressing the when it booted up the 4, number 4 and it just unlocked the, the, all the cores. So instead of having 3 cores now I have 4 cores. Now, I like this power supply, even though it's a 400 watt power supply. The fan that came with it is a decent fan. It's a 14 centimeter fan. Uh, as you see, this uh, fan is uh, the fan that came with the CPU. <coughs> right now, I only have a uh, one gig of uh, DDR2 because the client purchased four gigs. You know, thinking it will fit in the other system. And uh. Yeah, that's basically it. That's the whole system. Let me see if I can bring this down lower. So I can show you how clean, you know, the cable management is. Try to keep it as decent as. Uh, there's your 120 millimeter fan that I placed in there for them. See, it's all open. They're using the onboard uh, GPU graphics. That's why there's no graphics card in that slot. If they ever want to upgrade it, they can. <coughs> you know, they can upgrade it with a, a AMD uh, low-end graphics cards, and uh, it could uh, work crossfire with uh, with that system with that motherboard. Yeah. Decent little board. board. <clears throat> on the board it has a, a one-time PCI slot, a one-time 16 PCI slot, and two regular PCI slots there. On the back, on the back right there, try to get a shot, good shot, close in shot with, of all of it. You have two, four, six, two point oh, uh, ten, one hundred, one thousand network port. Your PS2 keyboard. You have a uh, 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 HDMI, DVI, and D-sub right there. And uh, this is seven point one channel audio. That's in the back. And inside of the board, you also have, let's see if I get a closer shot. You see those blue? And there's a little uh, blurry right there. But you have one, two, three USB uh, upgrade ports that if you want to uh, add more, you know, USB ports, you could just plug them in there.
that's it guys um it's a nice little system it came out to uh about 400 and uh about 30 dollars that's with shipping but without the uh, uh memory because they purchased the memory if i would have went ahead and purchased memory for them it would probably be another uh, 50 60 bucks you know for that I chose to place it up here just to keep so I could put the fan in there, the hard drive, so I could put the fan so I could get decent airflow. You know, I know it's not going to heat up a lot, but it's just uh, just something to keep it nice and clean and, uh, uh, you know, just uh, nice airflow for the client. But that's it, guys. Uh, subscribe, rate, and uh, have a good one. Later.